Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now, you clicked on this video because you're curious to see if one man can actually eat 50 pieces of KFC chicken in one sitting. That's over 1,000 grams of straight protein, which is around eight to nine days worth of protein for the average person. Everyone, the protein was one thing, but there was also some hidden surprises that I've never dealt with in a food challenge before. This is the 50 piece Kentucky Fried Chicken Challenge. So much chicken. <laughs> Everyone, I love fried chicken, all right? And here we are. Good thing I got my Diet Pepsi. Balance. I could eat this like a semi-normal human being, but I feel like this just needs to be jazzed up a little bit. Game time. All right. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> Gosh, this is going to be a lot of chicken. Oh, it's already like way more than enough. <laughs> it's so giant. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous, dude. Oh man, this is Mount KFC. Oh my goodness, everybody. Can we just take a moment to admire that? That is a mountain of fried chicken right there, everybody. Whew. It's so much chicken. I'm very much looking forward to this week's food challenge, but before I get into this food challenge, it's time for me to thank the sponsor of this week's video, G Fuel. G Fuel is the official energy drink of eSports. Whether you're a gamer, an athlete like me, or just an average person, G Fuel has a variety of products to help you fuel your life, including G Fuel energy tubs, carbonated cans, energy popping crystals, and G Fuel's caffeine-free hydration formula. I personally love the G Fuel carbonated cans if I'm ever in a rush. Each one has about 300 milligrams of pure calf organic caffeine. They've got zero sugar and zero calories, so they're absolutely perfect for me when I'm not doing crazy food challenges. They also keep me fueled through my long editing sessions. Before my daily bike rides, I go for a scoop from one of their energy tubs. Each tub has a unique energy complex formula so that I get the right amount of energy without all the jitters. My favorite part about G Fuel's energy tubs is that they have so many different flavors to choose from on their website. They've got pretty much every flavor imaginable. Here's the deal everyone, G Fuel is gonna hook you up with 30% off your order today when you use my code electric30 at checkout. All you gotta do is click the link located down below in the description. Now that that's out of the way, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. We have 50 pieces of KFC chicken on this platter right here. This is gonna be insane on so many levels. It's gonna be almost as insane as next week's challenge, which if you guys stick around until the end of the video for, you'll get to see a sneak peek of. Anyways, everyone, I'm ready to get this challenge started. If you think I'm gonna be able to smash 50 pieces of KFC chicken, comment down below fried. Without further ado, my friends, my family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the 50-piece KFC Fried Chicken Challenge. Let's do this. Oh man, like usual, I can't even see you guys. There was, <laughs> was a massive pile of chicken. I guess I should get dipping sauces ready. Okay, we got some dipping sauces we're gonna bring to the party here. Before I get into the challenge though, you know what you gotta do. Go ahead and give the video a like if you happened to poop that. Okay, I think I just gotta disassemble this. I'm gonna fall over. Do I want to disassemble it? That's so cool. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge officially started in three, two, and one. <clears throat> KFC is just always. Always fire. Mm. So far, it's going absolutely amazing. That's all I can say right now. So we've got, I believe like six pieces down. Now this right here is the first extra crispy piece. I know I'm gonna get a lot of opinions from everyone out there that likes KFC about original recipe versus extra crispy versus grilled. People out there go to KFC for grilled chicken, believe it or not. But I am curious, what do you guys prefer? Let me know down below. For me, I always love extra crispy, but the original recipe, it's got my heart. 
This actually kind of looks like the original recipe. Here's the extra crispy. Wait for the crunch, wait for the crunch. Mm. All right, so first sauce edition here, first condiment edition. We're gonna go with some ranch. I know this is probably not something that a lot of people do, but it's something that I do. That is our first W. Oh. W. I remember that one time KFC made vegan fried chicken. I prefer this much more. Well. There's a lot of fried chicken still left here. So far it's going yeah, as good as it can go. These breasts are gonna be the hardest part. Good thing I like eating my brush. I've got the maturity of a 12 year old sometimes. All right, everybody, well, now I feel like I need to get on over to something sweet here. So I got some maple syrup and also got some honey over here. When I took down 200 Popeye's nuggets a few weeks ago, I remember a lot of people in the comment section suggesting honey. And uh, hopefully the addition of the honey will help here. Not bad. All right, everybody, well, the honey was amazing. Great addition, but I'm getting hit with a huge amount of flavor fatigue right now, and I, I need something else that's sweet. Good thing I got some dessert. Just in case you guys didn't know, KFC's cookies are actually pretty delicious. All right, I know what you're saying. You're going, Eric, right, KFC's a fried chicken restaurant. Well, everybody, it's very important to diversify your taste buds whenever you go to particular places like KFC, for example. They may be known for fried chicken, but their desserts can be top-notch too. <clears throat> now I don't normally do this, but I'm actually gonna add some hot sauce here to see if this is my flavor. What are you going on right now? Not bad. Jeez, that was the biggest drumstick I've ever seen. All right, everybody. Well, this chicken is really. to continue eating or to not continue eating? That is the question. It's a dilemma I don't really know. I have the answer to right now. <sighs> okay, everybody, well, um, I kind of just forgot what I was saying, but, um, but yeah, the flavor fatigue is hitting pretty hard right now. Yeah, uh, oh well, carry on, I guess, right? <laughs> Try some maple syrup on some fried chicken. Maple syrup and honey, I guess. This extra crispy chicken is just... Whew.
Oh man, I just feel like there's so much chicken. It's like a never ending platter of chicken. <clears throat> All right, well, we have a lot of chicken still left. All right, how could I have 19 pieces of chicken left? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. We carry on one piece of fried chicken at a time. I have no idea what planet I'm on right now, but it feels like a planet of fried chicken. Fried chicken's everywhere. Listen, everybody, this is this is one of the most difficult challenges I've done in a long, long time. The Popeyes challenge was just so much different. Prepared a little bit more for that one, and I figured that this one would be about the same in terms of difficulty, but goodness gracious, it's just it's so much breading. And I'm actually pretty nauseous right now, and I normally don't get nauseous. And that's not very good. Maybe it was the human hair I almost just ate. Anyways, everybody, I'm still going strong. Kind of. Yeah. All right, everybody, well, one, two, 13 pieces left right here. I gotta just, I gotta throw in the towel. No, I'm, I'm not kidding, I just, I just, I, I can't carry on any longer. I, I really thought I would be able to successfully do this, but this is just, this was brutal. I may not be able to finish the rest of this fried chicken, but I always save room for dessert. You guys know me. Just like their cookies, their cake is very underrated because I forgot to get a fork. I'm gonna eat this entire thing with my hands. It's kind of what I do around here. Oh my goodness gracious. <clears throat> that is gonna get a W. Oh. <clears throat> you guys have made it up into this point of the video. If you're still rocking with me, comment down below cake. And also be sure to stay tuned for next week's food challenge. It's gonna be epic. Just like that, everybody. That has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Can't win them all. You know, I have pretty high success rate for food challenges on this channel, but this one was just, yeah, this one was rough. But hopefully in next week's calorie challenge, I'll be able to claim victory. This is the ultimate movie theater candy challenge. I'm gonna put a food challenge similar to this one right along the sidebar, along with a food challenge playlist of mine that I think you're gonna enjoy, I'll put it along the sidebar as well. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this food challenge and wanna see more, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next food challenge.